With the rising interest rate and the higher price per square foot, can new EC owners still profit like before? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. The starting price of a brand new 3-bedroom EC today is at least a million dollars. And on a per square foot basis, units are transacting between 1,300 to 1,400 PSF. With this and the current high interest rate environment, are ECs a sure win? Well, let's go back to the fundamentals by understanding what are the forces driving up the price of an EC when it reaches the 5th year MOP mark. For a brand new EC, the demand pool comes from either a Singaporean household or a Singaporean NPR household. Their combined monthly household income should not exceed 16,000. However, there is no such limitation for buying a resale EC. Other than foreigners, everyone else will be eligible to purchase a 5-year-old resale EC. This means even if you are a permanent resident who is below the age of 35 years old, or if you are a single earning 18,000 a month, you will still be eligible to purchase a resale EC. Removing this limitation widens the pool of ready buyers significantly, causes prices to go up. A 15-month wait-out period was also imposed recently on private homeowners who wish to buy non-subsidized resale HDB. This will divert even more attention and demand to resale ECs because it's a great alternative to 5-room or bigger resale HDB due to its price point and also the fact that wait-out period does not apply to the purchase of resale EC. Secondly, the loan limit for a brand new EC versus a resale EC is very different. Assume you and your spouse are both 30 years old and earn a combined monthly household income of 12000 If you were to buy a brand new EC, you can only loan 755000 but if you were to buy a resale EC, you can loan up to 1.38 million, close to double the amount that you can loan for a brand new EC. Why is that so? Because brand new ECs are being financed based on mortgage servicing ratio, whereas the resale EC are financed based on total debt servicing ratio. So very naturally, buyers of resale EC will have a higher purchasing power than buyers of brand new ECs. In a nutshell, the forces attributing to the price surge of a brand new EC upon its MOP mark are mainly due to the increase in demand pool and the different financing methods. It is therefore safe to say that upon the 5-year MOP mark, ECs are most certainly to sell at a profit because of these two forces and these two forces are not easily affected by external market conditions. However, what happens after the fifth year is largely dependent on external market conditions which are not within our control. Prices may continue to surge, may stay stagnant or may even drop. The current high interest rate environment has somewhat made buyers to be even more inclined to buying brand new ECs because it is based on progressive payment scheme. If you were to opt for a 1.2 million resale EC today, based on 4% interest rate, you will be paying $3,000 worth of monthly interest. If the interest rate increased by another 1%, the monthly interest payable will be $3,750. The increment of every 1% interest hike will result in at least an additional $750 interest payable per month. Given the same interest hike, it will be less stressful if you were to purchase a 1.2 million brand new EC. For a start, monthly interest payable is only $200 based on 4% interest rate. This is due to the fact that new launches are based on progressive payment scheme. Should the interest rate rise to 5% at the first stage, the interest payable is only an additional $50. Here's a breakdown of the interest payable at each stage based on 4%, 4.5% and 5%. You are not likely to witness a drastic increment in monthly repayments with every 1% interest hike. Unless of course at TOP. But chances are, 
interest rate may have dropped by then and you are also able to refinance and stretch your tenure. Alternatively, buyers of brand new ECs can consider purchasing through the Deferred Payment Scheme. With DPS, you are only required to pay 20% of the down payment but in full cash. The remaining 65% will be deferred until TOP. No money mortgage will be payable by you throughout the EC's building years. This also means that the interest rate hike got nothing to do with you. With all the factors mentioned above, I still strongly believe in the profitability of ECs. However, within the EC itself, it is also important to know how to select the right unit to purchase in order to maximize your profit. I have done in-depth analysis of two ECs in Singapore, namely the Topiary and Sky Park Residence, which I hope it will give you some insights as to how to spot more profitable unit types. Do check them out on my channel. If you still need advice based on whatever you are going through right now, you can reach out to me via the following methods. And so that'll be all that I have for today. I will see you in the next episode of Ask Joy.